guys! This is my tutorial for a winter theme hot chocolate tumbler with the whipped cream and sprinkles. I have already sanded and prepped my tumbler using an 80 grit sanding block and Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte spray paint in white. To prepare for the Tacket method, you'll need Aileen's Tacket glue and water. Mix one part glue to one part water. I mix five milliliters of glue with five milliliters of water and applied it to my cup using a soft bristled brush. If you have a Mod Podge brush, that would work as well and in fact, I recommend it. I couldn't find mine, so I used the next best thing that I had on hand. The Mod Podge brush is designed to help prevent streaks when you add the glue. So if you know where yours is or have one, definitely use it. Let your tumbler dry until you can no longer see the white streaks, which is kind of hard to do with the white paint, so I set up a timer to get an idea of how long it took to dry. After about seven to eight minutes, I was good to go. I'll be using Mr. Nola's glitter and Snowball for my cup, but any opal or sparkly white glitter that you have will work, just as long as it's not a large cut of glitter or chunky glitter. After you finish applying your glitter, take your finger and gently rub off the excess glitter. This will get your glitter to lay flat and give a gorgeous opal effect. When you're finished, spray with a clear spray paint to seal and you'll be ready for epoxy. You'll only need a thin coat. For my stencil snowflakes, I use one of the snowflakes that's in the design. As usual, if you would like to use the same design, you can purchase it in my Etsy shop. I'll have a link to the file in the description box down below. Once I isolated the snowflake that I wanted for my design, I made it about two inches from my cup, but you can make your snowflake any size that you like. Once the stencil was ready, I used a stencil vinyl cut setting. After you have applied your stencil, I use Apple Red Spray Paint by Rust-Oleum. Wait until completely dry and then you'll be ready for your next layer of glitter.
After removing the excess glitter, spray one more time to seal that red glitter in so no excess glitter will get on your white snowflakes. Because the glitter is close to your cup, you really won't need to do anything to your stencil to make it stand out for you to pull it off. I just tilted my cup a certain direction and you can see the snowflake stencil underneath. When you're finished, seal your glitter one more time and you'll be ready for your next layer of epoxy. For my decal, I decided to design a sister design to my Christmas hot chocolate mug for the winter season. I used some of the same elements from my Christmas mug so you can make a set if you like. The files in my shop will contain the outline in SVG and PNG format and the decal itself in SVG and PNG format. The files in my shop are the same files that I used here in my tutorial. I personally used the PNG file for the outline and the SVG file for the main word art. For the white, I used vinyl and chose the vinyl cut setting. For the snowflakes, I used a crystal holographic vinyl and used a holographic sparkle cut setting. For parts of the outline, I used a brown sparkle vinyl and used a holographic sparkle cut setting. For the wind gust, 
I used a silver metallic textured vinyl and used a textured metallic cut setting. For my whipped cream, I started with 20 milliliters of CC DIY Artist Resin and mixed thoroughly, making sure to scrape the sides and bottom of my cup. Once my epoxy is mixed, I added Nice and Thick from CC DIY. Nice and Thick is an epoxy thickener and is perfect for tumblers with a drip technique. Because it thickens your epoxy, you don't have to wait for it to cure or thicken up. Just add Nice and Thick, apply, and walk away. To make my whipped cream nice and white, I use white snow dispersion color from CC DIY. You don't need a lot, a little goes a long way. Once your whipped cream is ready, apply it to the very top of the tumbler and slightly over the edge. If you would like a big drip in areas, add more of your whipped cream. If you only want a small drip, then use a smaller amount. When you have your drips like you want them, it's time to add your sprinkles. I used Gingerbread Delight by CC DIY and took out the mini gingerbread men. They seemed more on the Christmassy side and I wanted my mug to be all winter themed. For my drips to cure, I just set my cup in a nice isolated area. I don't put it back on my turner. When your tumbler drips have fully cured, take an X-Acto knife and cut off all the excess epoxy from the rim. I also purchased a Dremel and used the flap extension to lightly go over the edge to make it nice and smooth. Once your final layer of epoxy is done, you're all finished. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye.